Thank you very much, Kate, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Well, I, I should continue coming to the VCA functions because they're wonderful introductions. But can I acknowledge to the traditional owners of the land and pay my respects to elders both past, present and emerging. For those of us who are descendants of migrants or migrants or refugees, we must always thank our first people for giving us this beautiful country called Australia. To my very good friends, of course, to Paul, Queen Nguyen and to Kate Moan for their advocacy in the VCA in getting the strongest and hardest working people in our community, of course, the doctors and medical practitioners, is such a wonderful idea. Idea. But when I got the invitation to come this evening, there's a couple of things that I said yes to. First of all, helping a fellow brother and a fellow sister in order to say, yes, I will come and celebrate with you. But secondly, I thought, heaven forbid, if something should go wrong tonight, this is the venue to come to. Because we've got so many doctors. So I say to you, thank you, because, well, I do pray to God that nothing will happen, but you never know, you never know, we're in good company. But you know what, this morning I had the privilege of being with the uh, Cultural Diversity Network Incorporated in Cabramatta. And the reason why I was with the community is that we were looking at mental health issues with refugee communities. And as you would know, the migration story for anyone that comes from a non-English speaking background is a hard and long road. First of all, you leave your family, your friends, your memories, your education at whatever stage it is, your profession, to leave, to get into a boat, to go across the waters, to go into a refugee camp and not know where you're going to end up. But as I thank every day the good Lord, I say thank you for our Vietnamese community in Australia and particularly New South Wales. Because when people say, oh, refugees, we've got to turn back the boats, we say, hang on a minute, look at the number one community where refugees came and have been active and positive contributors to Australian society. Who are they? They're sitting in front of me tonight. They are. The Vietnamese community. Because you are the great example of seizing the opportunity of education and of course looking at prosperity, not just for you and your family, but for the greater good of the community. And the simple fact, Paul and Kate, that you are getting the medical pr practitioners together to give back to the community, to talk about the hard issues. Because you can tell me, I don't need to tell you. There are issues when it comes to health that all communities, particularly from migrant and refugee backgrounds, are very ashamed to talk about. Whether it's feeling sad, whether it's depression, mental health, whether it's problems to do with various issues throughout life, there's a stigma attached. But the simple fact that you as doctors and medical practitioners are breaking down the barriers to say to the Vietnamese community, it's okay, we're with you. And if you listen to the information that we're giving you, things will be okay. So from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure my colleagues, Tanya Mihalik and Wendy Lindsay, as well, join in with me in thanking you for the work, not only that you do professionally in this great country, in this great state, but also that Aussie spirit of volunteering and helping a mate, keeping that Anzac tradition alive. You are, as Australians, because at the end of the day, we're all Australians in this great country. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Guy. Thanks, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great memory that when he talk about volunteering, last year, Guy was holding a can of tea, walking around Kapramara Freedom Plaza, collecting donations for the bushfire crew, together with VCA under the 35 degrees heat. Thank you, Guy. Yeah, and I remember. Thank you. And also, this is one more important thing, right? Okay, I won't get it. In February last year, it was in March last year, 
guy was acknowledging our TED festival in the New South Wales Parliament. So you make a very good address and acknowledge that and all the member of parliament now use the word TED festival is our Vietnamese festival in the new year. Thank you guys.